you know, for me, I got to be honest. The the things I think about the most when when I think about June 14, it's the heroes. Uh, you know, I don't think about the guy that started this all because uh, none of us would be here if it wasn't for the heroes uh, and the miracles. I mean, you all know what miracles happen, but if it wasn't for the United States Capitol Police, a lot of us wouldn't be here. You're here. And, uh, I, I'm so proud of Crystal and David because, you know, the whole detail that, that I get to, to get to know as a family, their family, look at them over there, and, uh, but they also, they have a job to do, and it's, it's a job that allows us to just do what we do without thinking about protection because they're the ones thinking about it, and if they weren't out there that day and risking their lives, I mean, y'all can be proud to know that the best of law enforcement was on display that day. You make not only United States Capitol Police proud, but every man and woman who puts on a badge and goes and risks their life to protect communities uh, can be proud to know that that day, the Capitol Police were the epitome of what's great about law enforcement, because they went out and risked their lives and faced a shooter that had a lot more ammunition, a lot more, uh, a lot more firepower, but they didn't have the resolve and the skill well-trained determination of these people who looked, looked it down and said, we're not going to back down, we're going to actually go out, and we wouldn't be here if not for y'all, especially Crystal and Dave, but uh, I just, uh, I, I, I love what's so great about our police, and the United States Capitol Police, y'all made law enforcement proud all around the country that day, and thank you, thanks for your service, thanks for your sacrifice, and glad you're back, both of them are back wearing this uniform.